Namaskar brothers and sisters. There are three categories of human beings. The first category compromises those whose thoughts, words and deeds are the same, which means whatever they think, they speak, and whatever they speak, they do. Such a people are A-class people. The second category compromises those whose thoughts and words are different. But whatever they speak, they do, which means they think one thing and speak another. But they do whatever they speak. Such people are B-class people. The third category compromises those whose thoughts, words and deeds are different from each other and never the same. Such people think one thing, speak another, and do something altogether different. Such people are C-class people. Most of the leaders of the present-day world fall into this category. You should try to become A-class people. You should speak what you think and you should do what you speak. Suppose your boss arrives. You will welcome him and say, please come sit down and have something to eat. You flatter him, but inside you, you say, what a trouble has arrived. When will he go? This is not known to your boss. Thus two eyes are within you. One performs action in the external world and the other is inside. You are well acquainted with this inner eye, but others do not have the correct information about it. Spiritual practice, sadhana, therefore is to unify the two, the internal eye and the external eye, into one. Two-ness in the single personality of the human beings is their disease. The greater gap between the two eyes, the more you will undergo psychic torment. You must remember this, that in this second half of the 20th century and the beginning of the 21st century, there is a gap, great gap between the internal eye and the external eye. And because of the trouble in adjusting these two eyes, there is an increase in the number of lunatics. This is the greatest disease of the 20th and 21st century. Lord Buddha said, win falsehood by truth, win the mis misery with generosity, win anger by non-anger. The intelligent thing for you to do would be never to get angry. Be moral in the midst of immorality and falsehood. If you have this skill, you will triumph in any battle. You will remain unsailed. In reality, human beings want neither joy or sorrow. They seek mental peace and quietude. In daily life, a person comes in contact with different kinds of people. At times, one even fights with some people. Now, will one find mental peace? Those who do injustice will also suffer injustice. The people who do injustice will lose their mental balance in any fight. Those who do injustice will be able to maintain their mental balance in the fight against injustice. This is the characteristic of a person who has attained mental quietude. You see, now that Ananda Marga's fame is on its rise, what should we do? We must maintain our mental balance and remain indifferent to both praise and slander, to both joy and sorrow. When I was in jail, I was subjected to a lot of calumny by some people. These very people now pra praise me, but I was indifferent to all their slander, and now I do not want their adulation. To understand my nature, you must do meditation. I keep no ambiguity. I'm clear, concrete, conclusive. My philosophy is complete philosophy, a complete way of life. I'm complete in myself, 
and I want every person to be complete in themselves. I am like an arrow, clear, pointed. Shri Shri Anandamurti. Today I'm in company of some young warriors who are hiding themselves. <laughs> this is Mirko, he's 12 years old. Alan and Oliver. Oliver is also 12 years old. He's a twin brother of Mirko and Alan is 19. They are a little bit shy. They are young warriors. They don't want really to show themselves in, in front of the camera. Okay, it's their right. <laughs> they are using their free will and uh, being themselves. <laughs> Poor kids, they have to wear the mask. Mirko, what do you think about wearing the mask in the school? Do you like it? No. He said no. Of course no. They are shy. Okay. Brothers and sisters, these three boys are our future. They are my sons. Okay, this video, it's about them, but as you see, they are not really keen on showing themselves. <laughs> so, there is nothing I can do about that. So, the point is that we should speak, and we should do what we speak and what we think. Hypocrisy is taking over this world and it's very sad that we are seeing that and we have to fight against that. We have to be people, class A. That was the message for today. Baba Nam Kevalam. I love you all. Namaskar.